Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we'll be talking about a, a, a very uh, good experience, or amazing experience that I had when I was in Ethiopia, uh, March uh, this year, 2020. After going around for about 25, 26 days to quite a few different countries. I was in Afar region, uh, seeing some of the water projects organized by Islamic Leaf Worldwide. And we were in a hotel, very nice one, the only big hotel in the city, which is about, we thought that's about four star hotel, but the cost was about 30, 40 dollars a night. Uh, so I had a good breakfast and the flight was very early in the morning. And uh, they gave us a piece of cake in the airplane. So I decided not to eat it while I'm in the airplane so but i took it with me uh, to go to the hotel on my way to the hotel i decided uh, to keep it for my lunch or my dinner because my flight was in the evening about 11 o'clock in the evening or at night uh, i started to prepare my stuff uh, luggage and everything and by six o'clock nearly six o'clock after i started to feel the hunger pain. So I took out the this piece of cake and I was experimenting how the poor people eat their bread when they're giving a very small piece of bread. So I was just cutting it small pieces by small piece as you are feeding a little child who cannot chew or swallow the bread or the piece of cake. And this reminds me of how we used to stuff the throat of the duck in Egypt to fatten it at that time. So while I was chewing it bit by bit, this took me about 15 to 20 minutes at least to enjoy the taste and the process of chewing actually these pieces of uh, cake. This reminds me of two incidents happened at the time of the Prophet ﷺ. The first one was actually was like a group of Muslims went out for uh, spreading Islam and the only food ration of them was a sack of dates. And their food ration every day was one date per day. So they used to put such a date underneath their tongue and keep sucking it for nearly an hour to keep tasting the sweetness of the date till it actually uh, digested completely. And uh, the second one actually was this uh, young woman who was a widow who came to the house of the Prophet ﷺ or to the room of the Prophet ﷺ and to ask for help. And Hazrat Aisha came out and gave them three dates. She gave one date for each one of her daughters and she was trying to eat the third one but when she looked at their eyes and the joy being shown on their eyes of tasting the sweetness of this date the mother or the widow decided to split the date in two halves and give one each half to one of the daughters uh, Hazrat Aisha anha, was astonished and amazed by the action of the widow, the mother. And she mentioned this to the Prophet Sallallahu who came and told her about the hadith, which is in Arabic, protect yourself from the hellfire even by donating half a date. And what this woman have done will guarantee her place in heaven, inshallah. Here I'm trying to say how the poor people appreciate any piece of bread because the hunger pain is the killing of the the killer for killing the soul and the spirit of the people. So they keep chewing it, chewing it. Take them longer time to chew this piece of bread. For ourselves, we swallow, we swallow. We don't actually appreciate the ni'mah that Allah gave it to us. So this was the most tasteful piece of cake that I have ever had in the whole of my life. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.